as it would be in any community. This is a major tragedy for Glendale. Today, a memorial was placed with candles, flowers, and balloons to remember the life of the 18-year-old man who died from gunshot wounds last night. Neighbors who saw this situation unravel say verbatim, nobody, no child should die the way it happened. Tragedy is going to happen anywhere. Salt Lake City Police say the shooting happened within a few blocks of each other in the Glendale community near Parkview Elementary. I think people are desperate right now and they're scared and fear informs a lot of behavior. An 18 year old man dead and a 17 year old boy in the hospital in critical condition after Salt Lake City Police arrived to a shots fired call around 645 in the evening on Saturday. People worry about this neighborhood, but we've actually had much less trouble here. It all happened within feet of Timothy Jeffries and Rebecca McCarthy's home. They've lived in the community about two years. I stood by the car there and I watched the poor man die. Where the 18 year old died is a memorial with candles, flowers and balloons. Lieutenant Wooldridge with Salt Lake City Police says there are three investigations coinciding with one another, which he believes are all associated with the initial shooting. The shooting death of the 18-year-old, police say they tried to resuscitate him, the shooting of the 17-year-old, and they saw a vehicle which they believe was involved in that initial shooting. He adds the community isn't labeled as a high crime area. There are problem locations throughout Salt Lake City that can be on any side of town. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that Glendale has any more particular problems as a larger percentage than other parts of the city. Jeffrey says it's important to have a close bond with your neighbors and McCarthy emphasizes this could happen in any community. Sometimes we look at communities, we go, oh, that's just a bad place. And that's not the whole story here. A bad situation happened in this place. Lieutenant Wooldridge says if you know anything about this shooting or anything that can help the investigation, give them a call at 801-799-3000. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.